students welcome back to best way to study in this video we are going to see all the important questions for intermediate second year max 2a subject okay now let's begin the video coming to d moivers theorem coming to this particular chapter uh, most commonly repeated questions are first type which is find the roots of the given equation they'll give you the equation and they'll ask you find the roots of the equation okay so for example find all the roots of the given equation and the equation is x power 11 minus x power 7 plus x power 4 minus 1 is equal to 0 okay this is one of the most commonly repeated question okay they'll give you the equation and you need to find the roots of, the, of, of that equation okay second type of question which frequently appears in exam is if n is an integer then show that 1 plus i whole power 2n plus 1 minus i whole power 2n is equal to 2 power n plus 1 cos n pi by 2. This is also one of the most important question. Coming to few more questions, uh, they will ask you uh, most uh, frequently repeated questions only. So make sure you prepare these questions, don't miss them out. And last but not least, they will ask you to prove D. Moivers theorem. Okay, they will ask you state and prove D. Moivers theorem for the integral index. Okay, so coming to the next chapter which is theory of equations. Most commonly repeated questions are, they will ask you to solve the equation. Okay, such as solve f x power 3 minus 24 x square plus 23 x plus 18 is equal to 0 given that the roots are in AP that is arithmetic progression this is important question and coming to few more they will ask you find the roots of x power 4 minus 16 x cube plus 86 x square minus 17 x plus 105 is equal to 0 okay this is also important and the next question is solve the equation x cube minus 9x square plus 14x plus 24 is equal to 0 given that the two root two of the roots are in the ratio 3 is to 2 okay and last but not least they will ask you to find the algebraic equations of the degrees also okay so please make sure you prepare all these questions whichever i told you and coming to the next chapter binomial theorem coming to binomial theorem they will ask you questions such as prove that c0 plus c1 by 2 plus c1 by 2 x plus c2 by 3 x square plus so on up to cn by n plus 1 into x power n is equal to 1 plus x whole power n minus n plus 1 minus 1 by n plus 1 into x this is important question and repeating the question prove that c0 plus c1 by 2 x plus c2 by 3 x square plus so on up to cn by n plus n plus 1 into x power n is equal to 1 plus x whole power n plus 1 minus 1 by n plus 1 into x important question okay and a few other questions are if p and q are the sum of odd numbers and the sum of even terms respectively in the expansion of x plus a whole power n then prove that then prove that p square minus q square is equal to x square minus a square whole power n and repeating the question if p and q are the sum of odd terms and sum of even terms respectively in the expression of x plus a whole power n then prove that p square minus q square is equal to x square minus a square whole power n okay this is important question and now let's see uh, another important question from the same chapter prove that c0 plus c1 into c1 plus c2 into c2 plus c c3 so on up to cn minus 1 plus cn is equal to n plus 1 whole power n by n factorial 
C0, C1, so on up to Cn. Very important question, okay? So, coming to next chapter, which is binomial theorem series problems. From this particular chapter, uh, you will get most of the questions from this chapter also. So, one of the most repeated question is, if x is equal to 1 into 3 by 3 into 6 plus 1 into 3 into 5 by 3 into into in the sense dot okay 3 dot 6 dot 9 plus 1 dot 3 dot 5 dot 7 by 3 dot 6 dot 9 dot 12 plus so on up to infinity then prove that 9x square plus 24x is equal to 11 okay important question and um, coming to next important question, if x is equal to 5 by 2 factorial into 3 plus 5 dot 7 by 3 factorial into 3 square plus 5, 5 dot 7 dot 9 by 4 factorial into 3 cube plus so on up to infinity, then find the value of x square plus 4x, important, okay? So, these are the important questions from this chapter. Coming to next chapter, which is measures of dispersion. Okay. Coming to measures of dispersion, uh, they will give you the questions such as uh, calculate the variance, calculate the standard deviation and uh, calculate the mean deviation, median mode. Very important and very common from this particular chapter. Concentrate on them. Okay. Main, uh, mean deviation and all okay and they'll give you observations also okay so coming to next chapter which is probability which is most one of the most most important chapter coming to this particular chapter they'll ask you questions such as a b c are the three horses in the race the probability of a to win the race is twice the probability of b and probability of b to win the race is twice of c what are the probabilities for A, B, C to win the race and also tell the probability that A losses in the race. Okay, this kind of probability related questions will be asked and uh, coming to more questions, they will ask you such as like what is the possibility of A winning, B winning such kind of questions need not panic these are like very important and logical if you just think logically you can solve these questions very easily and uh, they will ask you uh, balls question like there are five balls and all and or um, they may ask you questions such as uh, like this and I'm, I'm telling you the question state and prove Bayes theorem very very most important theorem in this particular probability chapter okay and next question from this important question from this chapter is there are three boxes with the ne number one two three and contain one white two black three red balls in it two white one black and one red ball in it and four white five black three balls I will even explain you the question so don't panic. See now what they are asking is there are three boxes. Okay box 1, box 2, box 3. In box 1 there is one white ball, two black balls, three red balls. In box 2 there are two white balls, one black ball, one red ball. In third box there are four white balls, five black balls. 3 red balls respectively okay one box is randomly selected and ball is drawn from it okay I didn't decide anything out of three boxes I just randomly took a box and pulled out a ball from that particular box okay so find the probability how many red probability is there from the entire box like i didn't decide the box i didn't decide the ball random box and random ball now tell the probability of picking up the red ball from the box okay this kind of questions will be asked okay so coming to next chapter which is random variable and distributions they'll ask you Find the probability distribution of a random important and they'll ask you 
find the value of mean variance etc this kind of questions are also important okay so coming to next particular complex numbers from complex numbers you will get short answers okay that is you will be getting four marks answers so the questions will be like if z is equal to 3 minus 5i then show that z cube minus 10 z square plus 58 z plus 136 is 0 basic questions short questions okay so and coming to quadratic expressions they will ask you questions such as let alpha beta are the real roots of the ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where alpha is less than b then prove that alpha less than x less than b where ax square plus bx square plus c and a have the opposite signs okay and they'll give you an equation also this kind of questions are important from quadratic expressions okay and a few more questions important questions from this chapter is they'll ask you to uh, solve the equations such as solve 4 x power 1 sorry 4 power x minus 1 minus 3 into 2 power x minus 1 plus 2 is equal to 0 and this kind of questions are repeating every year so make sure you perfectly prepare them coming to next chapter which is permutations they will ask you find the rank of the words of master m set prison tree such kind of questions okay easy questions and it takes time so make sure you practice well okay and uh, for example like few more questions which they may ask you they will give you a word okay uh, for example mathematics okay from this word just uh, make sure they will give you this word like mathematics and they will ask you put all the vowels together or put all the consonants together such kind of questions will be asked okay and coming to few more questions prove that npr is equal to n factorial by n minus r factorial important okay students prepare them and coming to next chapter which is combinations coming to combinations they will ask you questions such as find the number of ways of selecting the cricket team from the 11 player team uh, and uh, there are 7 batsmen and 6 bowlers such that at least there are 5 bowlers in a team. So such kind of questions will be asked. And coming to few more questions, they will ask you such as prove that NCR plus NCR minus 1 is equal to N plus 1 CR. Okay, important. Coming to next chapter which is partial fractions. Coming to partial fractions, uh, they will ask you to solve the fractions okay they'll ask you to solve 3x plus 7 by x square minus 3x plus 2 resolve into partial fractions okay and uh, similar kinds of questions will be asked coming to probability i already told you from this even short short questions will be asked so prepare well and uh, coming to long questions you need to concentrate mostly on the circles okay coming to circles they will ask you questions such as show that the circles x square plus y square minus 6x minus 2y plus 1 is equal to 0 and x square plus y square plus 2x minus 8y plus 13 is equal to 0 touch each other also find the point of the contact and also what is the common tangent of point of contact this kind of questions will be asked for 7 marks they are long questions okay and uh, coming to parabola you will be asked questions such as derive the equation of the parabola where y square is equal to 4ax okay this is the standard question okay please concentrate on this question and coming to few more questions from the parabola they will ask you show that the locus of the point of intersection of perpendicular tangents to the parabola y square is equal to 4ax is the directrix x plus a is equal to 0 important question okay and coming to integration this is also very important chapter from this you you can get any question but make sure you practice it very well okay they'll ask you just common integration questions okay the basic which repeats every year 
mostly and uh, coming to other chapters he is coming to differential equations concentrate on the questions like solve the differential equations they'll give you the equation and they'll be asking you to solve this uh, for example solve the below equation dy by dx is equal to 2x plus y plus 3 by 2y plus x plus 1 important question okay these are the sample questions which i am telling you okay so when coming to circles you will be even getting the four marks questions also coming to ellipse ellipse you will be having uh, like basic questions from them from these particular chapters so need not panic much uh, they will ask you questions such as find the equation of the ellipse with the focus at 1 comma minus 1 comma e is equal to 2 by 3 and directrix as x plus y plus 2 is equal to 0 important and uh, they will ask, also ask you questions such as show that the point of intersection of perpendicular uh, tangents x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 lies on the circle important question ok so watch this video till the end because I am going to also give you few tips like how to solve the questions and all so make sure you watch the video till the end binomial theorem as i told you it's very important okay now let's see what are the tips which i promise to give you so coming to this particular exam uh, when you are given a question for long long mark like long answer for seven marks um, whatever formula you will use to solve that particular problem make sure you write it in the right side okay with the pens with with the pen write write the formula which you are using to solve that problem and just make it un, it's uh, like just draw a box around it okay with a pencil neat sharp pencil so that whenever the examiner sees the paper when he whenever he looks at that formula the presentation skills uh, like uh, for the pre presentation you will be getting full out of full marks and uh, it, it looks good you know it, examiner will come to know that you know the formula and even uh, the last statement if, if they ask you to prove anything whatever you prove at the last make sure you draw it in a box okay it highlights and gives you full out of full marks and second important tip which I would like to give you is make sure you manage your time really well because uh, most of the students will run out of the time coming to mathematics exam so make sure you manage your time so well if you don't know the answer read the question twice if you are still not understanding it just skip to next question okay don't waste your time by sitting on just one question okay because time is very important you just have very limited time uh, period for this particular exam so make sure you do really well don't panic be confident and practice well because you have just a few days left for your exam so yeah that's it for today thank you so much for watching this video till the end and make sure you like share comment uh, if you have any queries you can let me know in the comment section below and subscribe and hit the bell icon because i'm going to do more and more subjects important questions as well and hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified whenever i make a video whenever i upload a new video so subscribe hit the bell icon like share this video with all your friends and comment me if you have any queries doubts or want me to make more videos like this so just let me know in the comment section below thanks for watching all the very best for exam and make sure you remember the tips which i have given you all the best